Personal life? You don't have a personal life. I work here every single day. Kellogg's is a trade-off. You're living here to support your family, but you're missing out on that time. The union claims they're forced to work seven days a week and significant amounts of overtime. The fact is, in 2020, our cereal manufacturing employees worked an average of 52 to 56 hours per week. However, 90% of the time, employees volunteered for the extra hours. Well, it pissed me off when I first saw the video because we really do work seven days a week, 24-7. I've been working every single Saturday, every single Sunday, Monday through Friday. Sometimes I'll get forced over because people won't show up because they're sick, vacation, whatever. I lost count how many hours I put in this plant in the last year. So say for example, you have a family. You work from the 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. shift. You got kids you gotta go pick up after school. You know you're gonna get forced over because there's a lack of manpower inside Kellogg. So what we do is what we call defensive signing. That individual now signed for the 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. shift. So they will get picked up for that because all three shifts are short people. So yes, this person signed, but he would have been forced anyways. There's a point system in place. Once you get to a certain point, you'll be terminated. Even though a person may have problems, they may have children at home, pets at home, they may have people that they're taking care of. The average 2020 earnings for the majority of our hourly serial employees was $120,000 per year, and more than a third earned between $120,000 and $200,000. I don't make nowhere near that 120. In order to make that, you're working 16 hours a day, every day, holidays, birthdays, anniversaries. There was threats of closing a couple of plants, so the concession was to keep all four plants running. They brought in people who are making less wage. Basically, we're doing the same thing, just different pay, different benefits. They have to pay part of their health care at over $10 less per hour. We get paid a certain amount of holidays per year. They have four less holidays paid per year. I'm a third generation Kellogg's. I've been told that there's no way I'm gonna become full-time. I'm never gonna reap the benefits that the people before me have. We want them to be equal with us. We wanna keep that going forward for our future generations. Legacy people have a pension. Transitionals do not have a pension. We want them to have a pension. So that way when they retire from working here for 20, 30 years, they have something to retire on. I've seen all the benefits of my grandfather working here for all these years. You know, my dad working here for all these years. Then to find out that somewhere along the lines they lost their values on the employees are their best asset, it's a shame.